Tonight, Action News reporter Bob Brooks speaks to a victim of COVID-19 who escaped with his life, but it was a close call. That's because he suffered a stroke. Here's Bob's report. Subside in the headache. Dr. Troy Randall says he's lucky to be alive. The cardiologist for Virtua Health was recently working on the front lines, helping patients battle COVID-19. He tried to stay protected, but he got the virus. However, his symptoms seemed a little different. The headache was just diffuse you know, front and back, and it felt like it was, you know, squeezing in, in both directions. He says his symptoms wound up becoming crippling. My wife would laugh at me sometimes. She would say, you know, one minute uh, she would see me walking around the bedroom fine, and the next minute I'm like balled up in, in a fetal position in the bed. It turns out the virus caused clotting in his vertebral artery. He suffered a stroke. I think my, my stroke initially started Thursday morning. I didn't present to the ER until late Friday night, Saturday. What happened to him has opened up his eyes to the fact strokes are becoming more and more common with COVID patients. At Virtua, he says. We actually had another patient in our system um, that was under the age of 50. And at Jefferson University Hospital, there's been more of the same. Tonight, Dr. Pascal Jabor says strokes have been happening with COVID patients young and old. Young patients with no risk factors are presenting with strokes. And the kinds of strokes they're coming up against are much worse than usual. Usually when somebody presents with a stroke, it's a clot in one vessel. Uh, but here we've seen patients with clots in uh, multiple vessels in the brain. Okay, now both doctors also wanted to say beating a stroke is all about timing. So they say if you think you're experiencing one, you waste no time. You immediately call 911. Front reporting Bob Brooks, Channel 6, Action News.